All right. Hello out there, YouTube lander people. <clears throat> I am going to show you a mini album that I made out of uh, some Tim Holtz papers. The first one was Lost and Found, the second one was Crowded Attic, and the third was the French Industrial. So those are all the papers that I used in this mini album. So let's get started. I've got, I've just put a little key on here. I don't remember where that was. Most of this is Tim Holtz audiology stuff. And then just um, glued it on and popped it up with some pop-ups and put those gears there and found words happy home. And then these are just Scrabble letters that I distressed with um, some tea dye and put them down there with score tape. And then I have three magnets here. And this I'm just going to leave black because, just because I like it. I, just, I think it looks older and more old timey. So, anyway, I'm leaving it like that. And then it has three magnets under here. And then you open it up. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get all this in. It's really long. It is, oh, let me tell you. The front measures um, 10 by eight and then you know it just has the whole closure is a closure and um, so then this front area I decided to leave it alone just because I really like the paper and this is um, a project I did for my niece um, they're moving away to North Dakota and they have a one-year-old baby and her husband got a job there and so they're moving away and I thought I would put pictures of the family in here so I wanted to um, just kind of, I don't know, leave this for space if she wants to put pictures here or whatever. So, anyway, this um, has some little just tags in it here, some photo mats to put photos. And then it has a magnet and it pops open. It's got a magnet closure in here. And then you can um, swing that over too. This is just a big photo mat for photos. I do have pockets in here that she can put things in. Um, you know, if she wants to, or more pictures as time goes on. Oops. <laughs> Whoops, I was going to make something else, and I'm not going to now because I have to do this quickly. So then I have the swings over, and then that's, um, I have a photo mat in each one. It doesn't really have anything on the back. And then this, this first page um, flips down for more photo mats, and then up, and the rest of them just flip up. And then, again, I've got this page flips open and this photo mat, nothing on the back of those. And I really mix these papers up um, quite a bit just because um, I, I really liked this first line. I really liked the um, lost and found quite a bit but I didn't have enough papers and this was going to be a pretty big uh, mini album so I just kind of mixed all of them together and I think it worked out really well. This is just another big journaling or another big um, place for photos, a couple photos on there and then another pocket in here that I may or may not, depending on the time, um, put a big photo mat in there. And then here these slip up. You know, again, I have a big photo mat in here. There's the papers. And then this flips up. And then here's some more papers in here. Photo mats. And then, you know, just repeat so it was fairly easy to make, just kind of put together as a whole. And these all have magnet closures, all these pages have magnet closures on them. But it just kind of makes it nice and cohesive and, um, I don't know, I just like it that way. So there's all the same and you can just kind of, I just make it like an assembly line. I just cut everything out all at once and then I'll put it together and then put the papers on it and it, it makes it go together a little more quickly. I mean, you know, as quickly as these mini albums can go together. Oh, for this punch, um, I used Hold on, let me find the punch. This, it's a Martha, Martha Stewart punch. So this is the punch I used 
all these little pages here. Pocket, photo mat page, flip top, and then I'm glad I'm showing you this because I did not paper the back of that. <laughs> oh dear! I wonder why I had extra papers open or left over. Oh yeah, and then opens shuts and then a pocket and then this. The battery's blinking at me. That's kind of why I'm hurrying up now. I should have just plugged it in. And then this page. Pockets. They go with the map and the flowers. Some of them I could match up. Some of them I, I couldn't. I didn't have the paper or whatever, but I really, really do like the way it turned out. Another pocket and then up the photo mat and then back and these papers with this blue and the pocket and then another up. I love this paper. Love the birds. This one, that's the idea. I was going to do two in each one because I did it to this one, but I have run out of time and it's 9.30 in the morning, the day of the party, and I still have to put the pictures in here. So I put a pocket in the back um, with just a photo mat. There's nothing on the back of it. I might do that to the front too. I'm not sure. But anyway, there is the whole photo album. There's the back. So <clears throat> it was really nice making it. Um thinking about her and her new baby and her new life in North Dakota and I'm sure they will be very happy there and build a great life in North Dakota. So hope you enjoyed this mini album. See you soon.